Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to part 4 of our in-app purchase tutorials. Now in this part here we'll be showing you how to um, add iAds and then be able to remove them once you have purchased your in-app purchase item. So it's, I mean this has been really like the most requested tutorial is basically how to remove iAds in in-app purchase. So I'll be showing you how to do that now. So Carrying on from where we left off in part three, so just to recap where we got into so far, basically we've created our ID, our in-app purchase um, content, we've coded it and set it all up so the user can click on the buy button and then it retrieves our information for our in-app purchase and we've got the option to, um, to buy or restore the item if we've already purchased it. And once you've done that, it displays in our label that the item has been purchased. And we also got it, so once the user closes the application down and reloads it back up, the application has saved the purchase and remembers that it has been saved. So when the app loads up again from the start, it loads up our purchase content. So then to, to add the iAds in, first we need to add the uh, iAd framework. So if you go to build phases and link binary with libraries, click the plus symbol, simply type in iAd, and then add the iAd framework. Jump to your viewcontroller.h where we're going to import iAd. So do hash import. We need to do the uh, one with the more than and less than symbol. And simply type in iAd uh, forward slash iAd.h. Now that we've done that, just after the UI view controller, we do space. Uh, less than symbol, and then we simply type in add banner view delegate, and that would be more than symbol. And now, once you've done that, we can simply save that, jump into our view controller.m. Just under the view did load, we'll simply type out dash void. Now, this is just following the basic and simple tutorial for implementing iAds into our project. So, first, I'm just going to implement it in and just build on the simulator to make sure they're working. And then we're going to add the um, code for when the item has been purchased to remove iAds. So just get them all set up first. So we do banner view did load space bracket and enter. Then we do bracket UI view space begin animations. Then we do nil and in the context null. And then we bracket semicolon enter. Then we do UI view once more space set animation duration duration is just that and uh, do this for one second and uh, a bracket and a semicolon because the i add banner is only going to be set to the alpha of it's going to be set to zero already so when the um when the banner does load it fades in quite nicely so we do banner set alpha so we set it to one so when the banner loads in it loads into full transparent and then we do bracket UI view commit animations and then bracket semicolon and obviously when it like receives an error or it's unable to load or can't find any more ads to load up it's gonna then dash bracket void uh, banner did uh, did fail to receive ads so it's just um, here Ooh, space bracket and enter so again, we just simply, if it fails to receive it, it's going to set the alpha to zero. So it's completely transparent. So we just change that alpha to zero there. Now we jump to our view controller dot m, um, dot xib, sorry. And then we find our iAd banner. Just throw that into the view. Um, go to the settings here. And then change the alpha here to zero. So it's completely transparent. Then right click or control click and drag it to files owner and select delegate. So if you go ahead and build in the iPhone simulator, you can see that it will be working perfect. So there, as you can see, it's all loaded up perfect. Now we're going to start coding now for when the um, user purchases the iAd, and then once it's purchased, the iAd completely hides. Then every time I hide the um, load the application up, iAd will not load. So kind of what we have to do then is simply go into our view controller.m and just like where we have the um, code to change um, how well when we um, when we purchased it how we got it to um, change the labels text to if we purchased it so we can simply copy that 
and then come down to banner view did load just enter and space it out here just get rid of the label code here and what we're going to do is copy the um, I add code here as it um, brings it into alpha and then paste that there so basically when the um, when we purchased our item and it saves the uh, down here purchase void statement here where it saves the key so it kind of say like creates that save point then just like when it loads up in a view did load it like if it's not if if the um, user hasn't purchased any item nothing happens else if the user has purchased it will display the label item as purchased now I get same here so if the when, this is in the wrong place for starters so if the user has purchased the um, item save code here with nothing but if it hasn't purchased then I add will load up into full alpha and also like so here we go here so not save code here basically hasn't purchased load I add to full alpha else um, else if the um, user has purchased it do nothing so it will either load that um, add into um, say, um, 100 transparency if you haven't purchased it and basically, if you haven't put, if you have purchased it, sorry, then it will won't load the ad whatsoever. Uh, we're just changing the did receive error, um, banner error, error here. Just so change that to zero. This is set to one. So does we um, get any kind of error? It will fade out the um, banner no matter what. So then we can simply save that. Now, obviously, I can't show you on the simulator. So we'll just bring up my device now, and we'll test it on my device. Okay, then. So now it's loaded my device. As you can see, I've already purchased the item on my device. So the label is clearly saying item has been purchased. And because the item's only been purchased, I add will fail to load. So it will not load whatsoever. But we have got one problem now. If I add is already showing and the user purchases the item, we haven't got any code to allow the um, the, uh, the I add to hide once purchased. So what we will simply do is go to our viewcontrol.xib, bring in the assistant editor, and we'll just create an outlet quickly now for our I add banner. Simply name it I add banner. Get rid of the assistant editor. Go into our viewcontroller.m, and in the per in the purchase void statement here. So once um, the I ads loaded, user goes to purchase the item. The item was successful, and then once it um, then once it kind of tells this void statement to kind of kick in, it will make the label change text, and then I add banner dot hidden equals yes. Now that will just happen when um, the, the item is purchased, but then every time the user loads the application, it will then use the code here in our um, banner view did load. So we can simply save that and build. Now I remember I'd show you some of the um, device or the simulator as I've already purchased um, the item and I cannot show you on the simulator as it won't allow test accounts. So if you just play around and build that to your device and test it out, it will work 100%. So that's simply how you remove iAds in your applications from when you um, purchase in-app purchases. So I hope all these tutorials, all the four-part tutorials on in-app purchases has helped with your apps or projects at the moment. I hope um, they really do benefit you and you know enable you to expand your application and kind of um, earn a little bit of money on the extra side there. So it's all good. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you favourite and like the video as it really does help us out. And you'll have these for future reference if you um, favourite them, so they're easier to find. If you haven't, make sure you um, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, just to keep up with what's going on in Geeky Lemon. And um, make sure you go check out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time. In our Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com.
But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.